Hi everybody, good morning. I'm doing this quick walkthrough for this new room, uh, the sticker shop. I think because Sunday the Advent Vault, uh, uh, Advent, uh, what do you call it, is coming in Sunday, so this room is already straightforward. There's only one flag, is uh, the flag.txt file, and they already tell you where is it. So basically, <coughs> sorry, so basically, if you go uh, the usual route and you just uh, can the pots in you know, they already gave us the pot 80 so this room is more because today is f it was friday yesterday to sunday so the sunday tomorrow is the so they they release this uh, easy room if you try to um, check the directory you can check there is a, a view feedback of course when you visit the room uh, there is the home page as always uh, there's nothing special about it, uh, just uh, some image, then there is a link to feedback, that's the only link we have. There's a form that's sent to submit feedback, which is the same file. Uh, customer feedback, but also we know we have uh, this, uh, the view feedback uh, uh, file, so we know that exists, so if we if we go there, first of all, if we go to the flag.txt, it's an uh, authorized and uh, view feedback. Uh, feed. View feedback is said also an authorized. So, uh, so view feedback I assuming, and the hint is already told you can you do cross site scripting? So, the, the hint is already said if, if I said uh, triple E. And here I, I can't see. So assuming there is an inter uh, local host user can view the feedback and view what I'm sending. Now because we have a form, we can say it's an XSS. That's what usually we do. But because it's in the backend server, so it's not reflected that you use a script uh, alert things because it's a stored xss where is that uh, room for try hack me you can read uh, it's a stored xss where it uh, uh, w you need to access your xss through a direct way so you're not uh, you're not doing it directly so so basically the assuming uh, there's a lot of if you google internet even if you ask ChatGPT or client IU, there's a lot of uh, scripts that you can use where you can send uh, the flag to your computer so it's not uh, <coughs> it's well known technique so if i just so for example run my python in my computer in http dot server there's a whole bunch of accesses payload you can use all of this I test all of them. Some they use post requests, some use the guest requests. You can also use encoding, like base64, anything. Uh, uh, this is the post request. Remember when you use this, uh, uh, this normal, what's happened now? When you use your uh, normal Python script <coughs> in uh, like that, it doesn't receive the post request. So if we want to test any request that has a guest request, for example, uh, simple one like this one, we just give us. So you can ask ChatGPT or Google Online. You can find them because basically now, uh, what this script do? Um, let me make it bigger. So basically, this script you just say to. Uh, it's kind of freezing now. Fetch uh, because now remember we said in an authorized. An authorized give you an idea that uh, not found. No, this is always playing around it here. Uh, not authorized, so it means we can't access to it from the outside. So that's why the script now we need to change it. So we use a local IP address. So someone from inside the machine will access the flag. And use XSS to send it. You send it using the Windows location, for example, variable. And then you, uh, let's say, well, my server is in 8000. And you can, for example, use encode error. This is one method you can use it. 
we can test one shot all of them so not let us test one first and then we can talk about so now if I do that and then uh, if I wait a little bit I can get the flag try hack me this is the encode that's the encode of the flag that uh, the curly bracket uh, you can test something else for example this the first one base 64 for example let's say if you want to play with base 64 um, base 64 script so same things you can see also when uh, if you look to our python it, it keeps sending so because the user is keeps it keeps uh, from internally is keep accessing to this f view feedback uh, script so now uh, this is the base 64 for javascript so basically is call our IP this is my 36.5 let's try this one remember this is the second one we're supposed to get now 64 bit well we got a 64 bit so that's one so if I can just go to these mini rooms a couple of rooms of try hack me they use this uh, same technique we used it before so it's not a new this uh, I think this room it was just a gift before at, uh, before tomorrow. Then we can get uh, 64. The then, for example, we can change different scripts. You can change this one. What this one do? Uh, the image. If you try to do an image type of script, because this one they do, uh, they use. Uh, they don't use the image. They just call directly. So we can use the image as another one. So. Let's change the so we don't let's run the script in 8015. So let's cut this server once M 8015. Let's change the port so we don't have too much noise and uh, not M. Um, so it's running 815. So the script is running, it's the same thing. It's just now using the tag images. So we can just show you different, uh, you can do in different ways. So again, we got the flag. So, so we can kill this one. Let's what else we can use? We use this one. Uh, let's use the post. You remember when you do post request? If you use the method post, a normal uh, normal Python in in the server will not really it will not work. So let's uh, run it in sixteen. So we can have it. So if I run now, uh, if I do uh, JavaScript xss in post request you see something will happen let's see what uh, what it will say if i submit here we can get uh, there but it uh, hold on a second 816 he said the unsupported method because remember we, we the our server this this normal server doesn't so there is a little script you can use to accept post request for example is this one so let's run it in uh, 816 what's the, the IP again let's write it in 16 so we don't have uh, the noise that coming from the order that we did so let's run it in A16 so this script it mean run, uh, accept uh, post request it's not like the other one the other one is just default doesn't use uh, post request so it's running now in 16 so if I send this one I'm using the post method request is freezing now it's and now this one you can accept now uh, it will accept uh, the post request so for post request is couple of them you can uh, you have this one you can do the method post uh, this is get uh, it trying to get directly so this one also is another way uh, uh, javascript is a lot of them so for example i can use this one again uh for example uh, let me let me change the uh, i'm changing it so we can see that everyone is working so we don't get uh, because the other one has saved it so i'm trying to show that there's too many things in javascript you can use so for example this one is running in port 17 if i use the this unknown this one use different technique so if i run it in a 17 
to give me a result and then we got it so this one uh, of course this one is a post request so you always you need the server that accept post request for the the normal ones the get one you, you just use the normal python that you use it in linux the the very simpler one that can do get request so this room is basically uh, usually this is when you have stored xss and there is an admin or something so you can include this or include an image or something uh, I, I try to to download the shell I try to do a shell uh, if I was able to do reverse shell but it's not possible because uh, I try to use uh, XSS to download the shell uh, some scripts here uh, uh, like uh, we can try it but uh, it didn't really work for me uh, let me show you what that means because I think there's no permission in the directory because um, so if I create a shell let's say uh, run python and 8117 this one didn't work for me so I'm not uh, I didn't figure it out I thought maybe double Even if I just uh, touch uh, shell.php, the idea here I said, oh, maybe what's my IP 36? Uh, 36.125 uh, shell. So I thought maybe to download it and call it. This one didn't work for me. You can download. You can see it is call uh, is calling it. W one seven. See, it's downloading the shell, but I can't call it from here. So this it's like there's no permission to save it. No, I said not found. So so he download. He can download the shell. Get but it's not saved I didn't want to spend too much time because of the it's either the, the room creator make sure that uh, uh, you can't save it or something I didn't want to spend too much on it so because it's a simpler room so so I think that's that's it this room is basically if you have this type of scripts you have the usually there's a lot of access as uh, clients uh, are, um, for this uh, uh, XSS, there's a lot of um, rooms or city if they use the same scripts. Basically, you want to access something, then you send it to your own server through POST or through GET. Most of the time, the GET one is straight, so you don't need uh, PHP, uh, you don't need Python script to receive a, a POST request. So you can just use a normal Python that is in your computer. So this that's exactly what uh, uh, this room is all about. So it's a straightforward room. So um, yeah, yeah. I'll see you uh, guys tomorrow. The launch is uh, first December, the advent of Cyber. Have a good weekend and good luck.